How to prevent uterine cancer Uterine cancer is cancer of the endometrium, which is the lining of the uterus. The uterus sheds its lining every month during a woman's period. While this type of cancer is most often found in menopausal women, it can also affect younger women. A definitive method for preventing uterine cancer does not yet exist, but there are plenty of things women can do to reduce their risk. Changing your lifestyle Eat a balanced diet. Ingesting the right foods is one of the most important elements of maintaining a healthy lifestyle and reducing your risk of cancer. Include plenty of fruits and vegetables in your daily diet. Aim not just for quantity, but for variety. Studies have shown that consuming a wide variety of fruits and vegetables has a significant impact on overall health. Limit your consumption of foods high in animal fat, as women with diets high in animal fat have been shown to have a higher risk of uterine cancer. Foods rich in fiber will promote a healthy digestive tract by helping eliminate toxins and byproducts from your body. If you're not taking in enough fiber through your diet, consider taking over-the-counter fiber supplements that promote regularity and proper digestion. Include plenty of fruits and vegetables in your daily diet. Aim not just for quantity, but for variety. Studies have shown that consuming a wide variety of fruits and vegetables has a significant impact on overall health. Limit your consumption of foods high in animal fat, as women with diets high in animal fat have been shown to have a higher risk of uterine cancer. Foods rich in fiber will promote a healthy digestive tract by helping eliminate toxins and byproducts from your body. If you're not taking in enough fiber through your diet, consider taking over-the-counter fiber supplements that promote regularity and proper digestion. Eat probiotic-rich foods to encourage healthy gut bacteria. Probiotics limit the growth of harmful bacteria which transform procarcinogens into carcinogens, and they strengthen one's overall immune system. Probiotic-rich foods include yogurt, kefir, kombucha, and raw cheeses. Check the label of the product to make sure that it contains live and active cultures. If you're not partial to naturally probiotic-rich foods, you can take a probiotic supplement. Such supplements are widely available over-the-counter at your local drugstore or health food store. Probiotic-rich foods include yogurt, kefir, kombucha, and raw cheeses. Check the label of the product to make sure that it contains live and active cultures. If you're not partial to naturally probiotic-rich foods, you can take a probiotic supplement. Such supplements are widely available over-the-counter at your local drugstore or health food store. Start an exercise routine. In addition to eating a healthy diet, being physically active will improve your overall health and reduce your risk of uterine cancer. If you're engaging in moderate-intensity physical activities like walking, you should exercise for at least 30 minutes a day, five times a week. If your physical activity is something intense like running or rowing, you should exercise for at least 20 minutes a day, three times a week. Low-impact exercises like yoga or spinning are just as good for you as jogging or hiking, so don't miss out on physical activity just because you have knee or joint conditions. If you're engaging in moderate-intensity physical activities like walking, you should exercise for at least 30 minutes a day, five times a week. If your physical activity is something intense like running or rowing, you should exercise for at least 20 minutes a day, three times a week. Low-impact exercises like yoga or spinning are just as good for you as jogging or hiking, so don't miss out on physical activity just because you have knee or joint conditions. Watch your weight. Paired with a balanced, calorie-controlled diet, frequent exercise should lower your likelihood of becoming overweight or obese. Fat cells produce estrogen, one of the main causes linked to uterine cancer, so weight should be controlled as much as possible. While weight loss has been shown to resolve some precancerous conditions, studies show that major weight loss through diet and exercise is almost always futile or unsustainable. If you're more than 75 pounds overweight, consider your options for bariatric surgery, which has a much higher success rate over the long term. Medical management by obesity specialists can also help. While weight loss has been shown to resolve some precancerous conditions, studies show that major weight loss through diet and exercise is almost always futile or unsustainable. If you're more than 75 pounds overweight, consider your options for bariatric surgery, which has a much higher success rate over the long term. Medical management by obesity specialists can also help. Get enough sleep nightly. Sleeping between 8 and 10 hours a night has been shown not only to diminish one's risk of cancer, but also to improve many aspects of daily life such as attention span, energy, and mood levels. Getting enough sleep is also associated with lower rates of obesity, which helps to prevent uterine cancer. Avoid drinking coffee or energy drinks after 7 o'clock in the evening, though it seems to be part of our modern lifestyle to watch television in bed. Studies have shown that keeping your bed a sleep-only zone encourages more restful sleep patterns. 
develop a nighttime ritual that relaxes you and helps you to wind down for the evening. Experiment with aromatherapy candles, different books, and non-caffeinated teas or cocos in order to find the right groove for you. Breastfeed if you have an infant. Studies have shown that, since both pregnancy and breastfeeding lower one's exposure to estrogen over a lifetime, these conditions also diminish your risk of uterine cancer.